While alternative energy sources in the United States have focused on solar and wind, alternative fuel sources have focused on ethanol, which is corn-based, and biodiesel from waste vegetable oil. There's also a growing market for gasification from biomass and butanol from algae. Ethanol production in America is based on corn and it's used farm subsidies, which is highly controversial. Corn-based ethanol is no longer seen as a viable alternative for America's fuel situation. Biodiesel, on the other hand, is made from waste vegetable oil. It's a diesel alternative. It cannot be run in traditional gasoline engines. Manufacturing picked up at the beginning of the 21st century. However, quality control quickly became apparent. As a result, manufacturers had nowhere to distribute to their largest client, the transportation industry. A more recent change in the industry has been the advent of what's known as hydraulic fracturing or fracking. Fracking has opened up deposits of shale oil, which can be developed both into oil and compressed natural gas, or CNG. The transportation industry has embraced CNG over biodiesel, but at a huge cost, including updating their equipment. However, CNG does not come under the same kind of manufacturing quality controls as does biodiesel. The fracking industry, on the other hand, has been accused of contaminating groundwater. Nobody knows what the future of alternative fuels will be here in America. We've known that our dependence on foreign oil has led far too often to problems both economically and politically. And that has led us down the path to war.